the shark deck. Johnny Mack with your daily comedy news. Trevor Noah tweets, Threads versus Twitter. I'm on Threads for the same reason I support King Kong. Sometimes you just need another monster to keep Tweetzilla in check. Hmm. I watched a bunch of comedy specials. I know, right? Let's start with Tom Segura's Sledgehammer. Best special of the year. His stage presence is great. The material is great. His pacing is great. A couple laugh out louds. Love it. That's number one. I'll redo the rankings in a second. Kevin Hart's, uh, what's that one called? Reality check. Uh, I wasn't feeling it. I, I think a lot of people will really enjoy it. I felt Kevin's body language was selling the material, and it's interesting. I was listening to an interview with Alonzo Bowden where he was talking about on one of his recent specials, he just wanted to get back to standing in front of a microphone and not selling the jokes with his body language. And I listened to the interview after I watched Kevin. When I watched Kevin, I think Friday night, I was like, I don't know what's wrong here. I'm just... It just felt off to me. And then when I heard that interview, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, Kevin's selling the material. I just felt like the laughs outweighed the material. Like I said, a lot of people are going to like that special. It's on Peacock. Uh, I wasn't feeling it. I did enjoy Nimesh Patel's Lucky Lefty. That one's on YouTube. Was really digging that. It got a little long because it's single topic about his testicular cancer. So after a while, I just wanted to do something else. But well, that one's really good. And Jimmy O. Yang's special, Guess How Much, that's on Amazon. I like that a lot. Now, this is personal taste. It is not the funniest special you've ever seen. But it was really good company, really easy on the ears. I just enjoyed watching it. I liked Jimmy a lot. I laughed out loud a few times. But I'm not going to tell you pound for pound it's the best special I've ever seen. But I really liked it. But Tom Segura is number one. So here on the fly, let me update my comedy rankings for 2023. Let's see. So Segura takes over the one spot, knocking Kyle Kinane down a two. I'm typing into my document as I do this. Nate Bergazzi, number three. Jay McBride was really good. Jim Jeffries. Hori is better than any of these that I talked about. Uh, Chris Rock special. Roast of Mr. Peanut. Okay, I'm going to put Jimmy O. Yang's Guess How Much ahead of the Roast of Mr. Peanut, which now falls to nine. Big J. Okerson now at 10. Nimesh is better than Sarah, so he's now the 11. That makes Sarah fall to 12. John Early falls to 13. Not adding to the list, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart joins some big hitters. Amy Schumer, John Mulaney, Louis Black, Hannah Gatsby, Mark Marin, Andrew Santino, Burt Kreischer, Greg Warren, and Kevin Hart. Not on my best of list. Just one dude in the basement. Your experience may vary. From the Independent, comedian Scott Thompson. You know him as Carrot Top. He alleged that he was on board the American Airlines flight where a woman appeared to accuse a fellow traveler of being not real. Carrot Top says the incident may have been caused by a lost earbud. There's a viral video. A woman can be seen walking down the aisle of a full flight while screaming about her reasons for getting off the plane. She says, I'm telling you, I'm getting the F off, and there's a reason I'm getting the F off. And everyone can either believe it or not believe it. I don't give two Fs, but I'm telling you right now, that mf -er back there is not real. A spokesperson for American Airlines said American Airlines Flight 1009 with service from Dallas-Fort Worth to Orlando returned to the gate due to a disruptive customer. The flight was met at the gate by local law enforcement and the customer was removed from the flight. Carrot Top posted the now viral video with the caption, My flight, this is on my airplane. He then turned the camera towards himself and said, This is why we're all sitting here in effing Dallas now because she lost her earbud. Carrot Top did update us and said, Hi, everyone. Just want to let you know I made it home. I give my hats off to everyone at American Airlines for how they handled that situation with that nut job who just lost her mind in front of the whole plane. Five hours later, we're here in Orlando. He expressed his hope that the woman in question was having a relaxing evening behind bars in Dallas, Texas. Hope you enjoyed your little stunt. Theo Vaughn's podcast this past weekend had an episode removed from YouTube. That was the Roseanne Barr episode that I told you about maybe a week ago. Roseanne had made some Holocaust jokes. YouTube said the comments violate its content policies. Quote, this video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on hate speech. Vaughn responded and said, my podcast with Roseanne was removed from another platform, so I want it to be able to live somewhere. And he posted it on Twitter it got more than 70 million views, 70 million views on Twitter. Elon Musk commented and said, comedy is legal on this platform. Vaughn had earlier said, a clip was taken out of a long sarcastic rant she had during our chat. Can we not recognize sarcasm anymore? Sarah Silverman is suing the company behind ChatGPT. 
The plaintiffs allege that when prompted, ChatGPT will produce a summary of their works. They claim this is copyright infringement and that they did not consent to their books being fed to ChatGPT. That will be interesting. Chelsea Handler had a new gig. She was a bartender at the Springsteen concert in London. She posted a video on her Insta. She was pouring a cocktail while dancing to Springsteen, who can be seen performing in huge monitors behind her. She also held out a cup that said, Tips for Chelsea. Kevin Hart is bringing back BET's Comic View. This version will be hosted by Mike Epps. New episodes featuring Tommy Davidson, Sakara Williams, Tony T. Roberts, Breesha Webb, DC Young Fly, and rapper T.I. will make his televised stand-up comedy debut. Kevin Hart said, I'm thrilled to partner with BET for the return of Comic View. Having hosted Comic View in the past, I understand firsthand the incredible platform this franchise offers for comedians to showcase their talents on a national stage, and I'm excited to continue that tradition. Let's stop off on Gossip Corner. Matt Reif, he got a big profile in the New York Times. We'll talk about that on the weekend. Well, he apparently has moved on from his fling with actress Lucy Hale. Matt Reif now connected to Find Me in Paris actress Jessica Lord. This according to page six. Page six says that Matt Reif is smitten and pulling out all the stops to see her amidst his career taking off. Even though he's on a busy tour, any downtime he has, he spends with Jessica Lord, even if he takes long car rides for just a short period of time together. My former co-worker Jamie Foxx looks like he's doing okay. This is what I've been waiting for. TMZ has published footage of Jamie Foxx waving while on a boat on the Chicago River. A source close to Jamie and his camp tells people, Jamie's doing great. He's taking it easy. He's not really having any visitors or anything like that, but he's doing really well. Good to see him out and about. John Mulaney shared a tribute to Olivia Munn on her 43rd birthday. And on his Insta, John captioned, Thank you for another year of laughing like dummies, parenting like teenagers, and always looking for your glasses. They're in your lap. I'm Erica, one-third of the podcast, Books and Betches, a comedy book podcast where we swear, spoil, and we talk about... Whoa, whoa, you cannot say that in this. What do you mean? That's our slogan. It's our gimmick. How about we just give some examples of things we talk about? Well, there's a lot of chaos. I'm Chris in it with me, I have. Whopper! No. <laughs> a lot of sidebar conversations. I Are you Europe. denying the existence of two recovery? You know what, Erica? Yes, I am. <laughs> you can listen to new episodes of the Books and Betches podcast every Tuesday morning, anywhere you get your podcasts. Just for Laughs, Montreal has announced some more shows. James Davis, you know him from his show Hood Adjacent, which was on Comedy Central in 2017. They've also added Late Night Down Under at Off JFL, a night of Aussie and Kiwi comedians. That's cool. The Nasty Show is back, hosted by Mike Ward. It'll feature Donnell Rawlings, Steph Tolev, Adrian Apolucci, Jeffrey Asmus, and Dino Archie. I'm actually scheduled to speak with Adrian today, so I'll share that with you in an upcoming days. Just for the Culture is back, formerly known as The Ethnic Show, hosted by Alonzo Bowden. I'm also speaking to Alonzo today. That'll feature Zorna Garg, John Marco Ceresi, who I'm talking to, I think, tomorrow, Joel Nicole Johnson, Judy Gold, Arthur Simeon, and Malik Elisal. Meanwhile, a new comedy festival, the Laugh Out Loveland Comedy Festival, will come to downtown Loveland August 3rd through the 6th. This new comedy festival will bring over 25 comedians from across the country for a four-day event featuring six stand-up comedy showcases, each headlined by a nationally touring comedian, a Best of the Fest showcase, and an open mic. Headliners for the inaugural festival include Ben Roy, John Novosad, Janae Burris, Jocelyn Sharp, AJ Finney, and Neil Rubenstein. The festival will also feature some of Colorado's finest up-and-coming comedians, along with comedians from across the country. Laugh Out Loveland Comedy Festival, August 3rd through the 6th in downtown Loveland, Colorado. And that is your comedy news for today. Follow the show for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your shows. Smash the like button and stuff. See you tomorrow.